Welcome to the world of Group Home Riches, where you can achieve financial freedom while making a positive impact on society. Are you tired of working long hours for someone else? Do you dream of being your own boss and creating a better future for yourself and others? Look no further. With Group Home Riches, you can invest in real estate and provide a valuable service by offering safe and comfortable homes for individuals in need. The number one investment in real estate. And start building a better future for yourself and those around you. Let's make a difference together with Group Home Riches. Let's talk about um, about mindset a little bit as well. So we talked about our first call, which was a very tough investor call, right? They they wanted to work with you. What did you do after that call? I turned them away. I went with my gut. I, I prayed on it and it was not going to be a, a good fit for my first home. And reason being is because they had so many objections. They didn't believe in me and what I wanted to do. And I did not want the pressure of a landlord breathing down my neck as I'm still trying to figure things out myself because it was the first home I was opening up, right? So um, I made the decision not to work with them, which I'm I'm grateful that I did and met with the, the first property that I did that gave me the freedom to you know, make make mistakes if I needed to at the beginning um, without feeling the the consequences of a, a landlord breathing down my neck um, every step of the way. I'm to the point where if I'm pitching on behalf of the done for you clients or talking to an investor about this, I know the headaches that the typical rental investor is going to go through. I know that if they're partnering or working with a group home operator that actually does the first steps that we take. This is just my personal opinion and the frame of mind that I'm in. I think that that investor is a complete and utter if they do not work with an operator like Terrence kind of put himself in the position in. Terrence, after that call that we had, would you say you kind of adopted that mindset? Absolutely. Absolutely. And how long did it take after you heard me pitch those folks? How long did it take for you to find somebody that was just going to be easier to work with after that call? It was in the same week. <laughs> Bingo. So yeah, this, a lot of this stuff comes from mindset, putting in the work, doing the steps that we take. I want to kind of address something. You know, do you have a list of potential clients in South Carolina? Someone else previously asked, hey, are you, would you invest in me? Guys, we went over the steps to take. Do not look for shortcuts. You will spend the next years if you want looking for a shortcut to avoid the couple hours of work that we just told you to do there's no shortcuts there's no just list of potential clients you need to build your marketing list and develop those relationships with the people in your area no one is just going to give you a list of people that want to live in your home no one is just going to give you money to invest in it because you're really positive minded and you think it's going to work. They'll invest in you. Investors will work with you. Landlords will work with you. If you put in the work in the beginning, which, it, yeah. which, which we went over. This is biblical stuff, guys. Um, this business model has been around for thousands of years, right? When the three wise men were going to visit baby Jesus they had to stop and stay at little houses. They were staying at group homes back then. They were staying at care homes, transitional homes, whatever you want to refer to them as. Little hotels. Um, so that's kind of number one. Number two, you have to plant the seeds. But before you plant the seeds, you got to till the soil. You got to work. You have to prove to the world that you've put in the work. You have to have proof of work. And trust me, over the course of the next year, two years, five years, 10 years, put that little phrase into your mind because you will be hearing a lot of it. Proof of work. You have to prove that you've worked. If you get something for free out of this world, you will lose it. So you got to put in the work, like Brandon said. Nobody's going to give it to you. Now, if you wanted to partner with somebody, okay, you can partner with us with our done for you program.
but you've got to put in the work. And it's not me telling you this or Brandon or Terrence. This stuff goes back thousands and thousands and thousands of years. If you give your children money for doing nothing, they will turn into spoiled brats. And the same rules apply to life. You've got to put in the work and there has to be proof of work. So I'm, I'm a repeater more than anything else, but I really want you to let that uh, all just kind of sink into your mind. Very important that you put in the work. Don't miss out. Your journey to success begins now. Are you ready to dive into the world of group home riches? Join our exclusive school group and connect with like-minded individuals who are just starting out.